Next module uh, in this configuration is flexi copper. This is uh, the most, uh, let's say, important part of the system because uh, uh, flexible capping was always an issue for different types of closures and bottles. So what is super important about this system is that we are, as I told you, we don't do any accumulation of the caps. So the picking robot is picking different types uh, of caps, in, in this case triggers, directly onto 3D printed platform. So you see, even if the straw is not super straight on the shape, shape of the uh, cap is not uh, symmetrical, we are able to design this platform properly and move them to capping heads. What's so important? We, are, we have a vision control here. So if we place this uh, cap on the platform, there is an option to check the quality of the cap, if, not, if nothing was damaged, if the cap is correct. And as you can see, changeover is very simple because I'm just putting magnetic platform click <laughs> inside the conveyor and it's, it's done. The same with the picking robot. There is a very simple tool that you can remove by hand uh, without using any tools. As you can see here are four capping uh, heads. Uh, why we use four, four capping heads for 60 ppm? Uh, one can say it's too many capping heads, but the goal is to keep the system easy to ramp up. So if we change over, our goal is not to optimize the process, not to speed up uh, our, in few hours, but just to have direct output speed up to 60 ppm. Why? Because in the short run business, we don't have time for ramp up. We don't have time for tweaking. We want this machine to be, to be adjusted by simple operators and not a big expert. Yes? So in this, this line, you don't really need any skills to operate this because the changeover is super simple magnetic platforms uh, manual removing of the of the uh, capping heads a lot of things is uh, placed just on magnets and what's what's very important don't be afraid of these robots you don't need to program any robots this machine is adjustable according to cap size to your to your package sizes you don't need to do any robot programming basically you just set the parameters of the cap. You tell machine basically how the cap looks and the whole project, uh, robot trajectory is calculated. So don't, you don't need to be any robot expert. You don't see this robot basically in the machine. They are completely embedded inside the machine PLC and user interface gives you a few questions about cap sizes and then the overall calculation of the robot trajectories is made automatically by the machine. It's very important. What is also <laughs> very important it's how, to, how we assure that the lifetime um, of uh, format parts is optimal. So we have system, PacOS, which is getting all the data from the line to the cloud, and it's checking cycle by cycle all the important parameters. For example, if we have a filling cycle, it's checking if the nozzle is giving us precise result of the filling. If we have capping cycle, it's checking if each of these capping heads is giving us consistent torque or cons consistent capping time. If something goes wrong, if the format parts are used or something is not getting stable, you will get information before the failure in the system begins. Your operating team will get, we call it Friday suggestions, so information for the operator what to do, what to check to avoid machine stoppage. So we, are, we, we want to act in the preventive way. So you have basically preventive maintenance included, included in this line.